Hey, buddy. So on the left, okay, uh, Jackson's in here hitting balls right now. You know, on the left and on the right. So I want him to feel a little bit more sense of pressure going into this lead side, right, to kind of get the system a little tensioned up to shorten the swing the right way. So on the right screen, he's kind of just going back, 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 back. And you see the difference in, you know, where the kind of club is running its range of motion here, right? So, you know, he feels like he's governing this with the left leg a little bit, pressure into the left side a bit more. And, you know, he gets a little throwy sometimes, but a pretty damn good swing for a little dude. So the feels, let me turn on the cameras. There he is messing around. Pardon me, bud. Let me step in for a sec. You know, and I think I had you use that uh, piece of, you know, band in here. And I want you to continue to do that or use your plane mate, like one of these guys. Just something that really gives you the sense of changing direction with the lower body, okay? So set up over a golf ball. And, you know, because it's not just about managing the hands, it's about the, the sense, the, the, the change in direction, the intent on the change in direction. So, you know, you're set up, you look great. Well, you start to energize this, you kind of get into a cruisy position, P2, P3, but that's when we need that stabilizing separation to kind of instigate that, you know, the athletic change of direction a little sooner. So that's, that's what's going to shorten your swing, okay? So let's get organized. Feel pressure in the feet. Put this thing into motion. No, and then we're going to have that little sense of, it's a bit of a miss hit, but a little bit of separation in the lower body that goes the other way. You know, this left leg's going to separate a bit of squat. And that's what's going to give us the, you know, take out some of the overswing pieces, okay? That might get our wrist conditions a little muddled up. Because I'm looking for you is that once you start to kind of create that floaty, floaty stuff past P3 right here, you know, let's mess with the sensation of knee stabilizing. And then that's when we'll kind of trigger a little rotation as we kind of work. You know, there's that little linear move, there's rotational, and then there's push, right? And so that's kind of what we're looking for, bud. And that'll help you organize, um, you know, an overswing with a change of sequence. Anyway, hope that helps, brother. I'll see you soon.